Hi, everybody. Good to see you all. Hi, Stephanie and Adam. Brilliant to see you two again. And Riley, you're here. That's good. If you're here, type in your name and I will be able to say hello. Finley, you're here. Hi, Finley. Brilliant. So who else is here today? Or are we just all out enjoying the fresh air? Maybe going to catch up later. Do you think Sophia's going to come on today, Finley? Oh, we've got Carly Rose and Kayla. Hello, Carly Rose and Kayla. Good to see you too. Brilliant. And we have got Chloe and Jaden. Fab. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Jaden. Good to see you too. So what have you all been up to today? Anybody been out? Stephanie and Adam, you will have been for your bike ride, will you? Yep. Anyone else been doing anything? Ah, hi, Charlotte and Nathaniel. Good to see you too. Yay. So, hope you've all had a good morning so far and a good weekend. Um, yeah. You've been up to some schoolwork today, Stephanie and Adam. Good. Still school. I think we've got, have we got four weeks left after this? Or five weeks, including this week? I think so. Before the summer holidays. Who can't wait for them? Lots of schoolwork getting done. Okay, we are going to start with our Apex Truth. So, are you ready? Hi, Shania. Oh, schoolwork at the smart house as well. Lots of schoolwork going on. Very good. I managed to get Noah to do all his schoolwork before 12 today, so I was pleased with that. Brilliant. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to worry. I'm going to pray because Jesus is my king. I'll praise him every day. For me, he died and rose again. I give my life to him. When I am weak, he is strong. With him, I'll always win. God's word I'll hide in my heart. I'm a member of his body. I will do my part. I am chosen, forgiven, and made brand new. I'm amazing, unique, so special to you. Each day I'm in a battle, but God's word will be my sword. With my helmet of salvation on, I know that he is Lord. The belt of truth and his righteousness will help me stand up tall. And I wonder what's going to come next. Well done, everybody. Riley, you've been up to schoolwork, so you couldn't go out. Too busy working. Really good. And hi, somebody said hi. I'm not sure who you are. If you want me to be able to see the name, then you need to type it in and you need to click on the StreamYard link, which is just outside this program. And that means I can see you. OK, but it is really good to have you all with us. Excellent. Now, I have a special guest today. I'm going to invite him on. Are you ready? Here he is. Ah, it's Olivia and Seb on as well. Brilliant, Olivia and Seb. But my special guest today is... Oh, Finley. Hello. Hi, Finley. Do you want to wave at everybody? Seb's watching you. And, and Olivia. And Carly Rose and Kayla. And Shania. They're all <laughs> saying hi. Yay. <laughs> okay, well, it's really fine to have you. Are you happy to be on, Finley? Yeah, he's excited. Yeah. Are you going to speak some words? I'm going to say hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did you do today? You were telling me earlier. Where did you go? Um. On um, your bike. Yeah. And did you go to whose house? No, well, it was just in the garden, but Nana came to our house, did she? Ah, Nana came to your house. Oh, but you tell me, what have you done on your bike? What can you do on your bike now? I can go snow stabilizers. Oh, wow. Finley <laughs> can 
with no stabilizers. Well done. That is brilliant. So, look, Seb and Olivia say hi, neighbours. <laughs> Do they not hear you? They probably heard us in the garden. Uh -huh. And there's Nathaniel and Charlotte saying hi, Finley. Okay, so they're all saying hi to you. Well, it's really good to have you on. Now, we played the shadow game on Thursday, and the winners were, I don't think they're on today, AJ and Benjamin. So well done to them. If they watch this later, they'll know that they could get to choose a prize from their mum. Have you had a prize from your mum yet? No, we still haven't found one. What, what no. Would you, what would you like your prize to be? Um, a car. A car, a convertible. Oh, right. Oh, that sounds nice. I haven't found one yet. <laughs> cool. Okay, well, we have a game today. So, I'm hoping Finley's organised, but you need to go and get organised. You need a pair of socks, all rolled up, and some kind of a basket or bowl that you can throw them into. So, I am going to give you all at home 10 seconds to go and get them all ready. Are you ready? 10, yeah. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And they're all back with them. Brilliant. Okay. We are ready. Finley, you ready? Yeah. He's disappeared. He's ready. Yes, there he is. Cool. So what you have to do is you have to put your basket down. And then you have to take 10 steps away from your basket with your socks in your hand. So everybody is going to take 10 steps. Count 10. Hold your socks, Finley. Pick your socks up. Get your socks. That's it. Pick there you thumb. go. Stand by the basket. And then count 10 steps. 10 steps. Right. Okay. Right. And then we're going to see. He's putting them all in. He's got loads of socks. Have you been practicing? <laughs> We've just got socks the all over the room. Oh, I've only got one pair of socks. Okay, so you have to stand 10 steps away from your basket. And when I say go, you have to throw the socks into the basket. And then, oh, he's got two baskets. Look at that. He's like a professional. And then you have to, we'll see how many you can get in. So if you've only got one pair like me, hi, Lily, Ivy, and Levi. We're going to throw the socks into the basket today. So if you've only got one pair, you've got to run and get it and then run back to your place again and try it again and see how many you can get. Okay, so here is my timer. Are we ready? Ready. On your marks. Ready. Get set. Go. It is counting down the seconds. Oh, it's not even started. That's it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <gasps> How many has he got in so far? How many have you managed to get in? That's it. Run back, get your socks, throw them in again. Oh, he's doing good. Run in. That's 50 seconds, everybody. Keep going, keep going. Oh, my. Our time is going down. Quick. It's clicking, ticking, ticking. What are we on to? 33 seconds. 31 seconds. Oh, Finley, good aiming. 27 seconds. Come oh, yeah. on, everybody. Oh, oh Chloe and Jaden, we're ready. They've said wait. <laughs> are you ready? 19 seconds. Have you got any in? Hi, Michael. Are you throwing? That's it, Emma. Throw them in, throw them in. 10 seconds left. 9, 8, 7. Six, four, three, two, one, and it's time up. Everybody stop. Well done. Okay, type in how many you got. How many do you get, Finley? You count them, come on, count them. One. Right, count them. One. You got three, four. Five, six. Six. Wow, six. It was a good one, was it? Six. That's, that's older than you. <laughs> well done. Good job.
job, Finley. Michael says, well done. We've got Stephanie and Adam with 13 and 14. <gasps> Olivia, you managed 20. Wow. Carly Rose, 18. Fabulous. Kayla, 14. Yeah. Riley with 13. Michael got 12. Chloe got 20. And Jane got 10. Charlotte, 21. And Nathaniel, 18. I think maybe they were standing closer than you, Finley. You had a long <laughs> throw. Seven Olivia throwing at the same time. So did they count them all together? That double the scores. <laughs> And I was almost done. Yeah, you got a yeah. at the end. We didn't get a what this time, but we got what's the minute at the end, did we? Lots of, must have been all that practising. You managed to get them better, <laughs> didn't you? But you were throwing them a long, long way. Win it to minutes from this that was, it, it? Is that your yeah. favourite? His favourite, he loves oh. it, do you? It's like mega kids, is it? That's what he says. Yeah, just like mega, mega kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well done, Finley. Do you want to say bye to everybody? You can keep on watching, but I'm going to take you off the screen. Do you say bye to Seb and Nathaniel and everybody, bye. Michael? Bye. Bye. Bye, bye Jaden. Bye, Jaden. Bye, everybody. Bye. Like, stop picking your nose. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Thank you for coming on. Bye. Okay, that was really good to have Finley on with us today, playing our Minute to Win It game. How many Minute to Win It games their favourite, like Finley? I know Michael's favourite was Shadow Game. Finley's favourite game is Minute to Win It. And if you would like to come on and help me with a the game, then let me know. Because I need some volunteers who like to be on the screen with me. Okay, everybody saying bye to Finley. Very good. Bye, Finley. Okay, so what are we going to do today? Well, we have a new, a new Apex Truth. But before that, Apex Truth, I have some jokes. Who would like to listen to some jokes? Here you go. We've been learning about clothes, haven't we? Putting on the right clothes, putting on the right armour. So I thought, let's do some jokes about clothes. So here you go. I made Lee laugh with these, so I'm hoping you like them. Why shouldn't you wear a cardboard belt? Why do you think you shouldn't wear a cardboard belt? Because it's a waste of paper. Did you get that one? Waste. Goes round your waist and it's a waste. Oh, I wasn't very good. What about this one? This one's better. Finley, you'll like this one. What's the biggest problem with snow boots? They melt. Oh, me melting snow boots. Oh, yes, that was a good one, wasn't it? What about this one? What did the hat say to the shoe? What did the hat say to the shoe? It said, I'll go on ahead, you follow on foot. Well, because hats go on heads and shoes go on feet. I'll go on ahead, you follow on foot. Right, what about this one? How do you warm up a room when you're painting? How do you make the room warm when you're painting? You give it a second coat. Hey, a second coat to keep it warm. What about this one? What does a house wear? A dress. It's your address. A house wears a dress. Oh, Kayla and Carly Rose are enjoying the jokes. Good. So are Nathaniel and Charlotte. What about this one? What kind of jacket does an octopus wear? It wears an army jacket. An army jacket. Yay. Oh, cool. Jaden and Chloe enjoying the jokes. What about this one? I like this one. What colour socks does a bear wear? We were throwing our socks today, weren't we? What colour socks does a bear wear? 
It doesn't wear any socks. It's got bare feet. Oh, me. Okay. So, last one. Last joke. What's the difference between a well-dressed man and a tired dog? Do you know the difference between a well-dressed man and a tired dog? Well, one wears a suit and the other just pants. <laughs> that was my favourite. <laughs> ah, okay. Well done, Lily, Ivy and Levi. You managed to do the sock afterwards. <laughs> Lily, you got eight. Well done. If you run out of time, you can do it at the do it at the end and then give me your scores. Yeah, if you join me too late. But well done. I hope you enjoyed those jokes. Lots of laughing faces coming on. Oh, Lily, you're loving my amazing jokes. Fab. Yeah. That's what I was telling everybody the jokes as we walked the dog the other day. So I've been practicing them. Here we go. Good. I'm glad you like them. So what is our apex truth this week? Well, we've done our sword. We've done our helmet, we've done our belt, and we've done our chest plate. So what have we got left? Well, we've got shoes and a shield. So here comes our apex truth. Are you ready? It goes like this. We'll get our sho we're gonna pretend these are our shoes. We're gonna say, with shoes of peace. Do that again with shoes of peace and then we're going to make a shield with our arm and a shield of faith or oh, shield that stops things so we go with shoes of peace and shield of faith well done we are sorry i am ready for his call. Good. So I am ready for his call. So what do we need to be ready? We need shoes of peace and the shield of faith. I am ready for his call. Brilliant. Well done. So tell me, how do you get ready for something? How do you get ready for football or swimming or bike riding? How do you get ready? You have to get the right clothes, don't you? So if you're going on a bike ride, you need a helmet. If you're going swimming, you need your swimming costume. If you're going to play football, you might need a football strip or shin guards. You'll need a football. So you need to get the right stuff ready if you want to go and play those things. I wonder, has any of you visited a fire station? Have you been to our fire station in Peterhead maybe? Had a wee visit? Had a look around? I've been a few times when my kids were little. We went quite a few times to the fire station. And I saw the room where they keep their clothes. And I saw inside the fire engine where they have to put on their clothes so that when they get to the fire, they are ready. Now, what would happen, do you think, if they weren't, they didn't have the boots ready, they didn't know where their trousers were, they didn't know where their special hats were, what happens if they hadn't got everything ready? They just left it lying all over the place. When the alarm went, when the call came, would they be ready to go? No, they wouldn't be ready. Yeah, that's right. Oh, lots of people be at the fire station. Excellent. Charlotte, Nathaniel, you've been, you've seen them, haven't they? They get all their equipment already, all their coats are all lined up and their boots are lined up. So they're all ready to put it on quickly when they get to the fire station. Did you see that as well, Lily and Ivy and Levi? Yeah, fab. What about the ambulance drivers? Now, they get a call if there's an emergency. Are they ready? Or do they have to go and try and find and quickly pack the ambulance with everything they need? 
quickly get on their equipment. Do they have to or are they already ready? They're ready for the call, aren't they? They are ready. And we need to be ready too. We need to be ready for the call. So if we want to be ready for God to use us, ready for his call, we need to put on every day the armour of God. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The helmet of salvation. The belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. We also need some shoes. Can you imagine going out in your bare feet? It's okay in the garden, but out on the street, it would be a bit sore if we didn't have shoes on. We need shoes. So what kind of shoes does God need us to wear? Well, it says in Ephesians chapter 6, which is where it talks about the armour of God, you have to look up Ephesians chapter 6 and have a look to see all of these things. It says, for shoes... Put on the peace that comes from the good news that you will, so you will be fully prepared. So if you want to be fully prepared, you have to put on the shoes of peace that comes from the good news. What's the good news? Yeah, the good news. The good news is the news about Jesus, isn't it? The news that we know about Jesus. So we need to put on the shoes of, what kind of shoes are they? Peace. Peace. Oh, Charlotte and Nathaniel, you're telling me you got to see the firemen get on their suit. It's quite a lot of things they have to put on, don't they? Just like we have to put on a lot of things with our armour. But if we put it on every day, then it's ready. We're ready for the call, just like the firemen are ready for their call. So, oh, what are you tell me about the police. The police, they need to be ready as well, don't they? Yeah, they need to be ready, ready for action. That's right. And we need to be ready for action, ready for God's call. So when I say the word peace, what do you think of? Do you think of your house? Is your house full of peace? What do you think of when I say the word peace? Any ideas? Anyone got any thoughts on that? Well, I quite like a bit of peace. Yeah, that's right, when it's quiet. Peace is quiet. Peace is calm. Anyone feeling calm, nice and relaxed? Peace is gentleness, being gentle. Peace is when everybody's being friendly and nice to each other. That's what I think of when I think of peace. Friendly and nice, yeah. So, what about the opposite of peace? What do we think of when we think about not peace? Hmm. Let me see. If it's not peaceful in your house or it's not peaceful out on the streets, what's going on? Maybe there's a lot of noise. A lot of noise going on, a lot of shouting, a lot of loud things. Fighting, there's fighting when there's no peace. Maybe people being horrible, that takes all the peace away, doesn't it? People are angry, oh, we don't feel very peaceful when we're angry. So when there's not peace, we get all these things. We get fighting and noise and violence and horrible things going on. And that's not peace. And that's not what we want to live. We don't want to live like that, do we? We want to live in peace. And sometimes when we look at the news, we see that the world does not have peace. And it's hard to think that we can make a difference. Can we make this world peaceful? Well, you know what? Jesus has got a way of helping us. He says, put on my shoes of peace. And when we walk, because we love God and love Jesus, we put on our Shoes of peace. Do you know what? Everywhere you go, you can take peace with you. Yeah, Michael, you love peace away from Emma. Yeah, I like peace away from my 
children sometimes, even my husband. Nice to spend time on my own, to have some peace to do my own things. But you know what? We can take that peace of Jesus everywhere we go. Because we love Jesus, he gives us that peace and we can carry it with us. The only way you can get true peace, peace that's inside here, peace that makes you feel good inside, is with God, God's peace. That's the only way you can get it. You can't get it any other way. You can try, but the only way you can have true peace is God. So you want to be a person that brings peace wherever you go? Then you need to remember to walk in peace. Not someone who brings pain and arguments and negative words, but someone who shows love and joy and peace. Yeah, lots of peace. So we can bring peace or we can bring lots of strife. But let's choose every day to put on God's shoes of peace. So we are ready for his call whenever he calls us to bring that peace. So that was really good. So who can remember the apex truth for this? For today, can you remember it? It was with the shoes of peace and the shield of faith. I'm ready for his call. Okay, we'll do that one more time. With the shoes of peace and the shield of faith, I am ready for his call call well done let's pray dear god thank you that the good news of jesus brings peace to all of us help me each day to put on the shoes of peace so i can take you everywhere i go and bring peace everywhere i go amen amen Brilliant. Thank you so much for joining me today for your challenge this week. I want you to see if you can decorate a pair of shoes, not by drawing on them, unless they're a really old pair and you've got permission. But maybe you can put some things on them, maybe add some ribbons or some pieces of paper, some decorations that you can put on. You can add some things to the laces. Okay. I want you to make some shoes of peace cool so that's your challenge for today to make some shoes of peace well done everybody for joining me today thank you i hope to see you again tomorrow and i'm gonna say bye for now bye everybody bye finley